Hi friends, welcome back. I am here today with three cards and we are going to um, create three coordinating cards, which I have pre-glimmered to save time since we're doing a trio. And um, we are still using the Hexi Gems collection and plus a couple of little things. But for this first card, I have used an older, um, let's see, what's the name of this one? It is an older foiling plate um, called Flower Pattern. And it's definitely older because it's got the older um, packaging. But it's beautiful, and I just thought it would be pretty as a backdrop. And I actually, this is the regular foiling, and this is... Um, I gave it a try. This is the first time I tried it on cardstock. And this is actually Stampin' Up! cardstock that I used um, because I hadn't got any of my Spellbinders cardstock in to try it because I've heard Spellbinders cardstock is really good to um, foil onto because it's, it's a really smooth cardstock. So I thought, well, I know Stampin' Up! cardstock is high quality, so I thought I'd give it a shot and it foiled really well. So that's just a tip for anyone out there that has some in their stash. Um, so this worked really good, and then I reverse foiled it, and check that out. Isn't it gorgeous? It turned out really pretty too. Now I have not made this one into a card yet, but it's coming. I will do that in the future. So, I've got us a card base here, a top folding one, I believe. Yes. And we will go ahead and get started. Use barely art glue for the majority of this. So, as you are watching this, I am probably thoroughly exhausted, but enjoying the time of my life in the Mediterranean. Uh, my husband and I are on a cruise, and we are going to Italy, Naples, Pisa, and Florence. We are going to two islands in Spain, Barcelona, and Nice, France. So, all of those places except for one I have not been to before. So, all are new to me except for Pisa which my parents took me to when I was a kid. Um, and then Randy has never actually been to Europe, so that will be a first for him. Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, I went ahead and used the Essential Hexi Gems, which is the nesting gems here for this layer. And let's see, do we want to pop? I think I'm going to pop that up. Um, just to give this card a little extra dimension. And I've used an older butterfly set, and I foiled some butterflies in this trio that I'm using or making today. I thought some foiled butterflies would be pretty. has come off easy. I will center this as best I can using the eyeball technique. And then I thought this butterfly looks like it's flying to the left. So I thought I would put it like right there. And then we would put the thanks right here. And then we might scatter some sequins uh along in the color scheme of today which is a completely new color scheme for us for me today new to me we'll just glue his body down so it his wings can still stay lifted isn't he pretty Mm 
ないかなほんとあれもう一回 The thanks down I'm gonna go ahead and put it flat and not pop it up since I've already popped up the hexagon See how that looks. Let me get it straight. That would be good. And then I've got these um, these green sequins from one of the club kits of the month. They always give you so many of them. And I remember when I got this club kit, I I didn't like these for that club kit, but I told myself I would use them definitely in the future. And it looks bright here. I've got a few of them sitting out here. It looks bright, but when you lay this down, look how much it matches. I could not believe that. And then these here are some of their essential sequins. And Spellbinders essential sequins, if, if you look closely, do not have the hole in them. They are just discs, but they have shine like some something else. And they come in three sizes in here. So it's really nice that you get the options of sizes. There's like a little tiny one, a medium, and then there's the larger disc. So I really like that um, you get options there and you get quite a bit um, in the package. They're also really affordable. I'm just gonna take a few extras of those out. I'd like to get Multiples of shape. Let's see, yeah, I got a little one there. But I thought these, even though these say, let's see, this one is aura opales opalescent, but it sure picks up the peach color. Look at they're staticky. They're sticking to me. So let's lay some of these out here and see what we think. We might put I thought we would just pull the two colors together maybe. Is there a smaller one? I don't want to put too many, but I wanted an odd number. How about that? If I can get him to stop sticking to me. Okay. That, that gives it some interest. So let's see here. I shouldn't have touched it with my finger. Is it upside down? I put a big glob of glue there. It's not supposed to be that big, but the glue, glue will dry clear. So that is good. guys over. I like that these don't have the hole too because the glue doesn't come up when you're using the, the little tip. The glue doesn't come up through the center of the sequin. So I do that one's upside down. I do like that um, with these. Let's see, I really don't want that to be straight across from each other, so I'm gonna put it up a little bit, just so it's more pleasing to me, to my eye. Whoops. Okay. So that will be number one 
complete. There we go. So we will set that one right there, and I'll just leave those out just in case we use them again. I'm not sure if we will, but they match everything, so we will leave those right there. And this was the butterflies we're using throughout, and they're Glimmer Edge Butterflies. Let's move those out of the way. For this second one, I have used an older glimmer plate from my stash. Um, this one is being retired, I believe. Um, and a piece of the gold foil paper. And we'll hook those two together. And what I've done with this card and the next card is I'm using on this card, I am using the, uh, what's the name of it? Let's see. Hexy Gem Blooms, which is the new floral um, foil plate. I'm using this on this card foiled regularly. And then on the next card, we're doing the opposite. We actually are using the waste foil and making a card with the waste. There's no reason to waste your waste foil. And I really love these dots. They're kind of cool. And I thought they really popped with this gold behind it. I almost put gold behind all of them and I thought, no, this one's just gonna be different. So I put the gold foil behind this one. I thought it just, this really just turned out really good. The foiling was perfect on it the very first time. I'm really having a lot of fun with the Glimmer Machine. It's going really well. I've only had um, just a few, I mean, literally less than a handful, less than five messed up pieces. And I showed them in my opening video, uh, my unboxing video of the um, Glimmer hot foil machine. If you want to go back and look at my unboxing video, I show what happened when I unboxed it and used the Glimmer machine for the first time. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check out my progress because I'm learning right along with you guys. Um, or some of you might be even be pros at this, but I'm having fun learning. Okay, I'm going to put this and I think I'm going to pop it up since the other one was popped up. It'll kind of make them coordinate a little bit. I think four is probably enough. One thing you do have to be careful with with foil is anything sticky. Um, like tape when you're, when you're hot foiling, you, any kind of tape or adhesive we'll pull the foil up. So like if I was to pull this up now and maneuver it, that sticky, if it's on the foil, will rip the foil up. So you just have to be aware of that and be careful of that. So this is a reverse foiled sentiment. In other words, it's the waste. And it is using the sentiment set from this collection um, that cuts out these. It's an all-in-one panel. Um, I don't know if I have it here or not. I don't know if I do. I don't think I do right now because I used a different one on the other one. But it's one um, glimmer plate and one die and it cuts out a whole bunch of these banner sentiments. And then what I did is I reversed or not reversed, I um, glimmered the waste foil and then my foil wasn't big enough to die cut the whole banner. So I went ahead and die cut them and then the tips were white because my foil didn't go all the way to the end. So then I just took my paper trimmer and I trimmed them down into rectangles so that I could still use these little guys. 
So I thought that was cute. And it's a, another way to use that die set that for other, you know, for rectangle sentiments. So I could see this being done in black, you know, with like hot pink or, you know, but with, uh, you know, a mixture with black to make it really bold. Um, black and gold would be cool. But, um, so I just did that and got two sets of sentiments out of the one piece of foil. And since this one was regular foiled, I went ahead and put the opposite on here so we would see it. And then this here, I foiled the butterfly onto the peach colored cardstock just for adding that color in since we're using those two colors in the cards. So that's the placement I'm going to use. I'll go ahead and stick this right about here. These are so elegant. And then we will glue his little body. Right about here. Let's not cover up the note. we go. And there's your finished card. Card number two. And I think because we have these background spots, I'm not going to put the sequins on this one. Too many dots. I think those background dots are just enough. So we'll put that one, number two there. Then this last one we're using, like I said, the reverse foil or the waste foil. I'm saying reverse because this one is gold on white and this one is white on gold, or that's the way it looks. So that's why I keep saying reverse because in my mind, they're reversed, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And then on this one, I also used a background foil plate that is an older one. And I'll tell you their names here in just a minute, the two older ones, just in case you wanna look for them someplace. They might still be on the Spellbinders website. I don't know if they are, they're probably really reduced because they're older. Um, if they are, I'll link them below, but if not, you know, you can always check eBay if you're really falling in love with one of them. Um, let's see, what was that other one? This one is Polka Dot Stripe, and this one is Diamonetta Background. So I just did this and it looked kind of wonky here. So I went ahead and put this stripe and then I thought we would add this little peach stripe here, but I need to cut it down because um, I should have done that before, before I glued that piece down. But I can go ahead and attempt to trim it without my eyeball in it here. Let's see, Let's see if I mess it up or not. Let's see, where was it again? Line it up, and it is right at the beginning of that little circle. I might be off camera just a little bit here. Just bear with me. My computer, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know my computer is not cooperating at the moment. So I'm doing this freestyle without a monitor to show me where I'm at. So hopefully 
my next round of videos will be a little better. But like, I can't see if it's getting blurry or any of that stuff, so. Because sometimes the camera gets blurry if you get closer to the camera. And I can't see if I'm in frame. So I roughly know, you know, where the frame is, but. So just bear with me, please. I didn't want to not share the cards with you after I made them for you. So, I really had a good time making these and I wanted to share. Okay, this is a tad bit short, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's just a little short in the corners, but it's because of the way the die is open. But it is so pretty. It is so pretty. So, like, elegant. Just, these cards scream elegant to me. Okay, so, we're going to put this one on here. And then I have this waist or reverse butterfly. But I do not have the body for him. I have come to lose the body. So I think we are gonna hold off on him, putting him on here, because we don't have a body for him. But we do have a sentiment, and this is how the actual sentiments come, die cut with the banner. So we will put the sentiment, and maybe we'll move the sentiment over more over the whole thing instead of off center. That way we'll move it over this way. Because it shows up better on the gold than it does on the white. So let's do that. And I think, I think we'll be okay if we do foam, the foam adhesive. And I'm not gonna put foam on this part though. I think I'm just gonna put a foam here. Let's see how we can do this. A foam there. And then and I'm going to tilt this one a little differently too. I can tilt it. Yeah, and then I will do here and here. Fingers are all sticky from the glue. Sticky, sticky. Okay, so we're gonna bring that one all the way over and then we're gonna tilt this a little bit like that. How about that? And then we will put this right about there. And we'll just put glue in the middle here so it's just on the gold. There we go. So there's that one. So let's see all three. One, two, and three. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these today and seeing the different ways you could use your foil and use this collection. Um, I will have another stitching video coming out and also we'll be having a Copic coloring video coming out where we color on foil. So be watching for those in the upcoming days. If you've enjoyed my videos, please subscribe and click the bell. And if there's anything that you see that you're interested in or want more information, feel free to look below. All the links to the supplies will be there. And you can also contact me at melaniestamps at yahoo.com for questions or 
just to say hi. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.